Well, good morning. It's midweek, Wednesday morning, time for your morning check-in here at Ephraim Church. It's every weekday morning, we take two, three minutes just to look at a verse of Scripture together, pray together to start our day on the right footing. Now, we've been working our way through Psalm 23. Today, we now get to the last verse. And the last verse begins with these words. Surely, Goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life. And then it says, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, we'll look at that second part tomorrow. But let's talk about what it says. Goodness and loving kindness follow me all the days of my life. Now, a good shepherd had sheepdogs. So you can think of goodness and loving kindness like sheepdogs. Sheep dogs followed the sheep wherever they went. Why? Because sheep were prone to wander and the sheep dogs could keep them where they needed to be. Well, guess what? As spiritual sheep, we too are prone to wander. And it's the goodness of God and the loving kindness of God that keeps us in check. Think about it. You've heard the old adage before, it's true. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. And when we reflect on his goodness, it keeps us from wandering. But not only is he a good God, he is a God filled with loving kindness. Now, what's the difference between kindness and loving kindness? Well, one person said it this way. They said, if you're kind and I was hungry, you'd give me a piece of bread. If you were showing loving kindness, you would put some jelly on that bread. Well, that's what God did. He doesn't just give us bread. He puts jelly on the bread. He does so much for us. Every good gift comes from above. And when I reflect on his goodness, and when I reflect on his loving kindness, just like good sheepdog, they keep me from wandering. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you that you are a good God. I thank you that you are full of loving kindness. And it's your goodness and your loving kindness that keep me from wandering off from your presence and your watch care over my life. Thank you for being that kind of God. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you'll share this on your Facebook page, and I hope you'll join us again tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, as we wrap up Psalm 23 in our morning check-in. Have a good day.